Hi, I'm going to show you here how to use carpet tape to make a stencil so you can cheer up an old t-shirt all you have to do is make a fairly simple design like this one when you've done something like that it doesn't have to be an eagle it can be a, a star or anything really you can you don't have to be good at art you can do all sorts of shapes you can do a heart or anything all you do then is cut it out with a knife a craft knife or a sharp knife you have to take care not to cut yourself obviously and then what you what you do then you've got to gently lift it up like this until you've got something like this one I did earlier say time all you do then is place it in a position where you want it like so You need some fabric paint from craft shops. For the eagle, obviously, the head is mainly white. If you're good at art, you can use pens, really fabric pens but but if you're not good at art it's good to use a stencil like this because you can take your time Once you've got the stencil you want, you can't go wrong with mistakes because I'll just use a yellow fabric pen here for the beak. You have to follow the instructions on the packets and the bottles of these fabric paints and things. Uh, now all you do is draw a 
han har i ånden. Really should leave this to dry, but I'll just take it off now, just to show you. You know, was a bit here and there with the brush again.
Okay, what I've done, I've just tidied it up a bit. I've gone over it in a way until I'm happy with it. So all you've got to do is just touch it up with the fabric paint. I think I'll add a few mountains here in the distance, a bit of snow. Just to give it a bit more interest and um, make a bit of a picture of it really. And You get these materials like craft paint, um, fabric paint from the craft shops, art supply stores and places like that. As I said before, you have to follow the instructions on the pens or the bottles of paint because Sometimes you need to let them dry, one colour dry before you overlay another one on top of it. You may also have to iron it to fix the colour too. But these colours, if you've put them on properly, they are permanent. You have to stretch the fabric too and keep it flat. It does also help to put some something underneath the the top layer of fabric, such as with an old newspaper or a plastic bag or something like that, so it doesn't seep through into the bottom layer. Just have to add a bit of colour. Just experiment a bit. 